in this video i'm going to show you guys a complete walkthrough to use compressor and multiband compressor for your audio editing purpose the compressor and multiband compressor we are going to use is the one available in davinci resolve fairlight but you can follow this walkthrough or this guide for another compressor that you are using or that you use because most of the compressor got the same function and the same values that you can set if you are a beginner first of all about the compressor it is a effect or a tool which will help you to reduce the volume of your audio it is not going to simply reduce the volume that is the specialty of this compressor instead of completely reducing the volume we can set an upper value or threshold value and uh, any audio that passes or that is above the value we set that is the threshold value we set this is going to get reduced and it is not going to completely reduce the volume it is going to reduce the volume in the ratio we set in the compressor we are going to look at all these things and the difference between compressor and the multiband compressor is that in compressor it is going to affect the entire audio while in multiband compressor you can divide the compressed value or you can compress the audio in different ways that is you can compress the bass section mid tone section treble section like that wise in the multiband compressor first we are going to look at the settings that is only available for the multiband compressor and apart from this settings that i am mentioning everything else is same for both compressor that is multiband and the regular compressor so in the multiband compressor menu you can see the wave or the audio wave and in the audio wave you can see the vertical line you can move the vertical line across the wave to set the designated area for the compressor effect i personally set one for the bass section one for the mid tone section and one for the treble section and lastly one at the end of the treble section because it is the area where lot of noise in my audio stands you can specify these bands based on the audio file you are working on or based on your needs it is the personal preference next for the options like i said there is individual options for each band or section but the settings or controls for all these are same also if you press the s icon or solo icon on your compressor band section it will enable the solo option for that section playing only that section giving you guys more information or more info regarding the both are same more info regarding the audio section that you selected so you can easily and efficiently add the compressor effect for that particular section also you can enable or disable different band based on your preference by toggling the band option so the first option available for the compressor is the threshold option it is the upper limit of the audio any audio that is above the threshold value will be reduced and the second and most important function of the compressor is the ratio different compressor software show ratio in different ways but at the end everything is same every ratio works on the same basis so it is very difficult to explain the ratio in simple terms so i'm going to explain it with uh, example simply if you set the ratio as 7 it will be 7 is to 1 that means if your audio is 7 decibel then it will be reduced to 1 decibel that is how ratio works so and it is one of the reason to use compressor to reduce the volume as instead of completely reducing the volume or completely removing the volume it is going to reduce the audio so giving a more information or more feel to the audio next one is the limit option it is at the maximum output for the audio from the filter next is the gain simply gain means it is going to add more volume to your audio so by increasing the gain you can increase the volume for the audio and if you increase the gain on the particular band section it's going to increase the volume for that particular band only difference between limit and gain is that limit means it is at the maximum output volume and gain means it is the 
output volume you can increase or decrease the gain to increase the volume or decrease the volume next is the attack and release attack is the time taken to fully compress the audio or simply it is the fade in effect for the compressor and release is the time it will take to revert to the non compressed state or simply it is the fade out effect for the compressor next is the knee option it is not available for the multi band compressor in davinci resolve it is available for some compressor so if you the compressor got the knee option it is what these things mention simply knee is the fastness of transition between compressed and non compressed state so by increasing the knee value it is going to reduce the volume or it is going to compress the volume faster next there is the q option in this multi band compressor it is the value which help for easy transition between bands reducing the value will smoothen the transition between each bands and increasing it will give you guys a rough transition between each band so with this we can conclude the walk through for the compressor and multi band compressor and before i sign off a simple and an effective tip is that by controlling attack release knee and q value you can remove most of the distortion that occurs on your audio by adding the compressor effect because most of the distortion occurs due to the rough transition from the compressed to non compressed state and by adjusting the attack release knee and q value you can smoothen all the transition so giving you guys a non distortion free compressed audio so that's all about this walk through guys i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe